Sir, sir, stop what you're doing. Sir, sir, take that video down. Take, take it down right now. We've had a report, sir. Step away from the computer. Go offline. Go offline. Drop that mouse. Drop the mouse, sir. Drop it. Drop it. Now slowly walk backwards. Come out of there with your thoughts blank. Don't make us tell you again. Not only have you had an unauthorized thought, you have attempted to express it in a way that might cause someone to not feel at peace or somebody might not feel safe because of the thought that you expressed online. That's basically what's happened to the Florida Maquis the last 24 hours. Woke up this morning to not only a warning on the main channel, but also a strike back-to-back for the exact same thing, expressed two different ways. Now, here at the backup channel, I'm going to make a statement. They knew. The most recent attempt on Mr. Trump, Google and YouTube knew about it ahead of time, and they did nothing. In fact, they even adjusted their algorithms to account for the aftermath had it been successful. And that's what caused my channel to get a warning and a strike back to back for the basically the exact same thing. I showed an image that they thought was a bit too graphic. Now, that particular image that I showed might have been what somebody would have looked like had the individual in West Palm been successful and they were preparing for people showing those images and I just happened to show one on a completely different topic that coincided with their algorithm adjustment and for the next seven days I can no longer post over at the Florida Maquis main channel. That's why we have the backup channel here. Those of you who are wondering, it's the Florida Maquis Alpha site. We created this backup channel just for this occurrence, just for this set of circumstances. Because the last time they did this, the channel barely survived. Their strike system, YouTube strike system, isn't perfect. They can't watch everything all the time. So they have to be continually tweaking and manipulating their algorithm to look for certain things at some times and then other things at other times. Battlefield of Mind, if it was ever a time when I could use your support, right now is it. Right now is it. We're going to go through this. We're going to talk about this, this topic. And I'm going to encourage people to think outside the box because now... This is an entirely different set of circumstances. If you would like to step up and support the Florida Maquis, I could sure use the help. I'll be very honest with you. It's only one US dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year. Fully refundable, first 90 days. Going to be a lot of videos over the next week over there. A lot of videos because I can't post at the main channel, only here at the backup one. You see, they failed again. They goofed. They goofed. They were planning on a huge inundation of graphic images based on the success at the golf course with Mr. Trump on behalf of the, the idiot that they have in custody now, but it didn't work out again. But they couldn't switch off the algorithms in time. Now, you need to think outside the box. You really need to think outside the box on this one. How many of you remember... Jadzia Dax, the actress Terry Farrell from Deep Space Nine years ago. Some of you might. Somebody asked Florida Maquis, what does this have to do with anything? Well, I follow her over on Instagram and she made a post. And it got me thinking. Hmm. You see, a lot of people, and we all are guilty of this, I'll include myself here. Sometimes it's an easy trap to fall into, to think of everything in the world as affecting us. When sometimes things like this, these political machinations back and forth, they affect large groups of people. She shared this fact, and I checked it. It's absolutely correct. 
The six largest publicly traded oil companies made more than $70 billion in profit in the last 90 days. So stop saying inflation when you mean record-breaking corporate profits. The same thing with, with groceries. A lot of people want to blame the high cost of everything on the current administration. And while they haven't done exactly a great job, there's more to it. There's much more to it than this. Now, I want you to, most people see this number, 70 billion goes in one ear, out the other. Goes in one ear and out the other. How many of you remember Bender from Futurama? His, his joke about hookers and blow. Well, I'm going to share a fact with you that I think might make people wake up a little bit. Now, you think, oh, $70 billion. People talk about trillions this, hundreds of billions that. $70 billion. You, Bender, and eight of your friends, the 10 of you, you, Bender, and eight of your friends, the 10 of you could go out, each of you get $10,000 a night to blow on hookers and blow. $10,000 a night for each of you, you, Bender, and eight of your friends go out and each of you spend, the 10 of you spend $10,000 a night. Do you know how long it would take you to go through $70 billion? Do you know how long it would take you? It would take the 10 of you 1,900 and 17-ish years, and you would still have enough money to fly first class home. All of you. All 10 of you. And the hookers. I want you to think about that for a minute. Now, what does all of this great story, Mucky, super cool story, what does this have to do with Mr. Trump? Well, what's Mr. Trump promising to do? What's he promising to do? He wants to bring the costs of things down. He wants to change things, right? We see $70 billion can also buy a hell of a lot of status quo in Washington, D.C., can't it? See, there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of money all tied up in the status quo of things. Mammon is not happy. See, right now, you think because you know people, like, for example, the Florida Maki, who are struggling financially, so is Lynn Liaz, so is the Patriot Nurse, so are a lot of people online. You would think that that's the case for everybody. You see, it isn't the case for everybody. That's why the stock market is so high. That's why the grocery stores are full. If it was truly a supply chain thing, or if it was a, a Biden's fault, or there were, if there were shortages of things, then it would make sense for the prices to be high. But how many of you have been to the grocery store lately? Anybody seen any empty shelves? No, you see, there's a lot of folks out there. There are a lot of folks out there who are terrified of the status quo changing. And it doesn't have to necessarily do with who's is or who isn't left or right directing what way we're going to go. It's about the money. It is about the M-O-N-E-Y. And make no mistake about it, we had the issue up in Pennsylvania. And then we had the issue in Winder, Georgia. And then we had the issue with the guy shooting at people on the highway. And was that down here in Florida? I'm trying to remember who the guy was who was shooting at people on the highway. And then we had, and they never found that guy. And now we have this. And everybody is talking about more money for the Secret Service. More money for the Secret Service. More money. This is what they were talking about last time. And I created this little image where they're going to create this new thing called the Centralized Omnipresent Presidential Security Apparatus. That's right. The Centralized Omnipresent. I love acronyms, by the way. 
centralized, omnipresent, presidential security apparatus that, of course, is going to be authorized by the new federally enhanced election laws. Yes, that's right, cops a feel. Centralized, omnipresent, presidential security apparatus, federally enhanced election laws, that's what's coming. That's what this is all about. If they couldn't get you outraged enough about people using certain weapons and kids and schools being the victim, what they're going to do now is they're going to get a whole other group of people riled up about a bunch of crazies using weapons against, well, their God. And that's what Trump is. He's God to people. He's G-O-D. The amount of deference and the amount of love people are giving that man far more and far exceeds any amount of time or effort or money that they would spend on the church. It just is what it is. So they knew. They knew. There are people out there who have a bunch of money all tied up, all tied up in the status quo. And my channel just accidentally fell into a trap laid for someone else. Simply because we were talking about a different topic. The image that I showed, I don't even really want to describe it all that much. But it was an image from a zombie series. And once again, the image that got my channel both a warning and a strike simultaneously. One for the thumbnail used for the video and the other for the post associated promoting the video with the thumbnail was a fake image that is all over YouTube. I'm not even going to use the name of the series, but it's probably the single most popular zombie series that was ever on TV ever. And it has a ton of spinoffs. The Walking Unalives, I guess you could call it. But the trap was laid for something else. Because the image that I showed would probably be something you could look at and say, yeah, that's what people would look like if the gentleman who was hiding by the fence had been successful. That's probably the nicest way I can say it. So once again, thank you so much for your support. Those of you who have seen the posts today, those of you who have stepped up, and God bless all of you. God bless every single one of you. Very, very much appreciate it. Like I said, we're going to be putting up content here. We're going to be putting up content over at Patreon as well because I've got a week to cool my heels on the main channel. So anyway, I will leave it there. But think outside the box, folks. Think outside the box. All of these things that Mr. Trump has said that he wants to promise to do didn't you think that was going to ruffle some feathers? Wasn't this idea maybe kind of fraught with some peril? I mean, the level of success that he might achieve at doing what he says he wants to do could be debated. You know, maybe he's 20% successful, 30% successful, 70% successful, who knows? But any level... When you're talking about those those kind of areas of money, $70 billion, that's going to buy a hell of a lot, a hell of a lot of status quo in Washington, D.C., and I'll leave it there. Thought police are real. They are very, very real. And I don't want to say that it's specific to me. This has happened to the Patriot nurse many times. Why do you think you only hear from her once, maybe twice a month now? Possibly three times every 30 days a video. When she used to be three or four times a week. This is why. Because there's sometimes you just got to say enough snuff. So I'll leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Join us on Patreon. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time.